Hi everyone, my name is Brian. I'll be leading you through a hit workout. We're going to do it just pretty much in the chair, using the chair support. There'll be no weight needed. Um, we're going to really focus on just keeping moving, keeping that heart rate elevated, keeping that blood flowing, working on our, our lung capacity, all that stuff. So we're going to start off with the hit workout. It's going to be four exercises. Uh, after the fourth exercise, we'll take a full, uh, full the, uh, 40 second break. And we'll do new, another four exercise in this video. I'm going to show you how to do every exercise. We're going to run through it one time, and then you can do as many rounds as you would like. So, to start off with, we're going to start each exercise 30 seconds. I'm going to get my, yeah, my stopwatch out real quick. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to march in place. So, just a regular march in place, and chair support. You can also do this in the chair. As well, you can sit down and march in place. But just focus on marching in place. If you want to bump it up, if you get high knees going just like that, just keep it going. I'm just trying to get that blood flowing, everything out, everything up here. Heart rate elevated, all that good stuff. You can keep going. And now, I'm going to stop in three, two, one. And we're going to move to the chair. And. We're going to start off going to an abductor raise. So, 15 seconds on one side, just like that. Keep your hand, uh, hand placed on the chair. And you should feel the pull right here in the leg. Just like that. And you're going to switch in three, two, one. And we're going to switch to the other side. Just like that. It's really going to work on those AV ductors right here. Just like that. We're going to keep that heart rate elevated. And finish in three, two, one. And we're going to go into the RDL. So we're not going to do the chair for this one. But what we're going to do is we're just going to stand right here. Keep those legs bent. We're going to begin. I'll go over with you. It's going to be an RDL. So straight down, back straight, midway to the shins, back up, just like that. Kind of drive those hips through, keep the heart elevated as well. Keep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Go are doing great. Keep going. Just like that. I'm going to stop in three, two, one. And we'll stop and reset. We're going to go to a squat into a chair. I'll do it from the side angle right here. We're going to focus on just that range of motion in the hip. Hips are going to go down. Sit down, rock back, and come back up. Get out of calf raise to it as well. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to keep that back nice and straight, that core tight, pick a point straight on the wall in front of you. Sit back and right there. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, we're going to switch. We're going to take a break in three, two, one. You can sit down in the chair, stretch out your legs. We're going to go for a 40 second break here. 45 second break. Stretch out. You can sit. Knees, hug yourself, open up the back, roll both sides, left to right, just like that. Now we're going to focus on your breathing here. Really breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And so I'm going to move it forward. Our rest is going to stop in 10 seconds. And we get seated, uh, seated, get a nice posture, open up. We're going to begin our next exercise in three, two, one. So what we're going to do is just a curl press. So seated curl the press. Curl up and press, just like that. Really make sure you focus on your core to keep you tight here. This is going to help with your postural muscles. You want to sit off. So you're just going to curl, rotate out, palms out, down, curl back in, and rotate down, just like that. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good job. Keep it up. Keep it going. Just 
just like that. Perfect. Get the energy up. We're going to stop in three, two, one. All right, the next exercise we're going to transition to is a leg raise. We're going to start that just like this. So all you have to do is just up, down, up, down, up, down. Just like that. You're really going to focus on that band right here. In the higher part of your quad, your hip area, groin area. Remember to keep that back straight. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Just like that. Good job. Keep it going. Really feel the burn right here at the top of your quads. A little bit into your hip area. Just like that. You can't raise your legs all the way. That's fine. Raise them as high as you can. Just like that. And then stop in three, two, one. Good job. All right, everybody. Next thing we're going to go into is just a lateral shoulder raise. Real easy. We're going to start in three, two, one. And we're just going to go right here. Go under and then just lift up. Or you can do it right here and lift up. Just like that. Keep that back nice and straight. Put the point on the wall in front of you. Just like you're flying up to here for flapping those wings. Nice and just like that. And you want to breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. And keep it going. Keep that intensity up. This should really start getting your shoulders, your top, your top deltoid. Start burning. Breathe into your nose again and out through your mouth. Keep it going. All right. We're going to stop in three, two, one. Next exercise we're going to go into is a heel touch. And all we're going to do is go like this. And we're going to begin in three, two, one. Touch those heels. Just like that. Keep it going. Keep that core nice and straight. <clears throat> straight. Keep it nice and tight. Really focus in your mind. Keep that core nice and tight. Just like that. Keep that. Blur. Elevated and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just like that. We're going to transition to our break in three, two, one. Good job. All right. Now we're just going to pump out those legs like that. So we're going to get some arm swings. You want to do some arm circles or some upper. Shoulders, the rotator cuff, get that range of motion going. Remember to breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Just like that. Just like that. Into your nose, out through your mouth. Keep relaxing. Just real focus on everything. Feel your heart beat. So you get to focus on. And we're going to start again in 10 seconds. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to go into a bent row. So just right here, grab the weight, and I just want you to go like this, just like this. Throw it up. Squeeze the scapulas together. Squeeze them together. Real focus on that squeeze. And breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Keep going. You're doing great. Going just like that. Breathe into the nose and out through the mouth. Doing great. And keep going. All righty. We're going to stop in three, two, one. And to end this hold, get the first, get this hit uh, exercise down with it. We're going to get this uh, jog in place. Just pump those arms as you run, just like that. Just Lift them up, alternate perfectly. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. Just keep going, just really feel the burn. Keep that heart rate elevated. Just like that. Doing great. Good job. Keep it up. We're almost done. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. And we're all done. So that was just the first round. You can do this. I'd recommend doing it two to three times. Just really focus on keeping that heart rate. Keep moving. Good. Really, really work on 
that endurance level, keep that heart rate rolling, make your heart stronger, get those nice strong contractions out of it. Just real easy to do, real quick. Each round takes about five minutes. Take a break in between each round. Uh, after each each whole round of it, take a one to two minute break. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week.